that was Lisa. She's inviting us up there for brekkie if we fancy it. This morning? Oh. Or she says they can come to us, grab a coffee if that's easier. <sighs> Since when has Lisa been into coffee mornings? Hey? She doesn't even like the stuff. She called it foreign muck the last time I offered her an espresso. Are you being deliberately dense, Chaz? She's looking out for you, isn't she? She's worried about Aaron. Yeah, well, maybe she should back off and let me deal with it. I think I know what's best for my own son. He's, uh, sleeping like a baby at the minute. In fact, I should probably give him a kick. Not that eaten up by the guilt, then. And how would you know? I don't. I don't know anything. That is what I'm saying. Come on, who is this Cassine bloke to Aaron when he's at home anyway? And what made him lose his rag defending Finn? It was just wrong place, wrong time. I know he can lose his temper, but he's not some total snapper. And why is he telling the cops it's all down to him? Just leave it alone, Charity, all right? We're sorting it. Me and Aaron have been having a few issues. Oh, come on, what's new? We were supposed to be going to Vegas. Yeah, we all know about the holiday. Yeah, only it wasn't just the holiday, we were getting married. We were going to do the whole white chapel drive through Cadillac thing. I knew it. Without any of us being there. It just seemed a bit simpler somehow. So go on, what went wrong? I'd called it off. We had this big row and I'd, I'd just had enough. I told him we were over. Right, well, that's enough to send his head spinning. But we've made up, we sorted it out. Yeah, meanwhile, Aaron goes completely flippo, kicking some kid's head in. And then he's holding his hands up to GBH, unprovoked. I'm on it, don't worry. He's going to change his statement, tell him it was self-defence, he was just trying to defend Finn. Which is the truth anyway. Well, that's sorted then. Cops love it when you chop and change your statements, don't they? Always looks really good. <sighs> it's fine, honestly. Here he is, my hero and a half shell. Aaron's just getting ready. Yeah, well, um, he might want to hold his horses. You see, the thing is, I might have been a bit hasty. You're kidding me, right? You said yourself this is his best bet. If we got away with it, pretty big if. Especially as I can't trust you to keep your mouth shut. You are? Your solicitor came to see me. Pierce? Pointed out in no uncertain terms that I was jeopardising my own career, as well as Aaron's future and yours even thinking about tampering with his statement. How does he know? I've no idea. But I haven't exactly been shouting at a bell. Well, I haven't said anything. I mean, why would I? I'm not stupid. Way well, sharp, but it's not that sharp. Presumably you can't read minds. That's that then, isn't it? At least I know where I stand. Aaron, 